Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel in a brand new game. We've got Pokemon Masters that just launched yesterday, last night actually, and uh, I've been jumping in there having quite a bit of fun with this, so I wanted to show everybody this, and, and I'm really, really enjoying this game. It's got some pretty cool stuff to it, uh, some things that uh, your typical hero collector gotcha game doesn't really do it does uh does a few things differently so we're gonna go ahead and jump into all that and uh have some fun here but first before we do if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with the newest mobile games out there this game and others that i have on this channel then consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out All right, and welcome back. So here we go, Pokemon Masters. We're going to go ahead and just jump right into the game. There is, there's a lot to this game, but at the same time, there uh, there really isn't. And I'll explain that here in just a second. So uh, this is your main screen here. This is your main, I guess you can call it a lobby area that has uh, all your different characters and stuff in here. You got your different stores. So right over there, Trisha, you got your shop. Um, over here, you can go ahead uh, with, uh, what is that, Trinia? You can do your your uh, editing your teams, but you have all these buttons. You have these buttons down here at the bottom that really help you with all of that. So you don't really need this area. It's just kind of an area to interact with the different characters and stuff that you come across as you work through this. So let's go ahead. We're just going to jump right into it. This is Explore. This is where you go in and you take a look at all the different elements of this game that you have. You have a training area, your sync pair stories, your events, your main story, your sync pairs. What that is, is that's your Pokemon trainer and that trainer's Pokemon. So this is a little bit different than other Pokemon games where you're not collecting the Pokemon themselves. You're, you're collecting the trainers and using them throughout the story in order to move further into the game. You have a single player and a co-op. I have not unlocked co-op just yet, but I am working on it. So a couple things, I said this game does a, a couple things a little bit differently. So if I go into training area, this is where you're gonna like farm all your different materials, right? Like your level ups, your strike, tech, and support. Those are the different types of character traits or whatever you wanna call it. Those are the different types of characters you have. You have strike characters, tech characters, and support characters. Uh, these super courses down here are, those are, thing, those are levels that, that pop up during the week. For different materials and things like that so you have coin right there for obviously for coin you have strike right there for strike materials and then you also have this special training battle technique down here that you get a little bit later on you get this i believe when you complete chapter four this allows you to go beyond the character uh the character level so like your main character maxes out at level 30 once you complete this you can then break that limit i'll show you that here you can reach past that limit and then in, and upgrade it, and then you can go up to level 45. So so you got different ways that you can level up your characters. I don't know what the max level is yet, but uh, it's something I really just haven't looked into. But those are your training areas, your sync pair stories. So as you gain, gain trainers, you can go in here and listen to their stories. These are just stories. These aren't battles. It's just kind of a cool little story mode to learn a little bit more about the trainer themselves and their Pokemon. You also have events. I just locked ev un unlocked events, so you get this once you complete chapter five. Which chapter five is a tough, it, it is a tough battle, but uh, but it was fun. Nothing in here just yet. And then we have the main storyline. So right now I'm in chapter six, and uh, it's it's cool. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into battle, so I can show you what battle's all about. So right now I just did that first part. It tells you there too what to expect. So that first one right there is, is a story. So there's no battle there, but it still has a reward as you do it. This next one, I have two battles to go through. Now I may be at the limit of, of, of where I need to be right now. I don't know if, my, if I'm strong enough in here, but we will find out. I do need to change up my characters because it does have the types, right? You have, uh, you have like lightning, you have rock, you have leaf. So right now we need uh, I I need a fire and I need uh, I guess that's air. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna swap out Brock here. So we just hit edit. You can swap on the fly, and then I'm gonna bring in. Where is she? Okay, her right here. So she's fire, right here. Flannery. We're gonna bring her into this, and then I think I'm probably gonna swap out my main character. 
because I like I like Rosa there. So I'm gonna swap out him and throw this character in here. So this is Skyla, and I just got her. So I'm gonna say okay to that. So now what you can see. So you can see that I've got uh, I've got Skyla and Flannery. They're flashing, which means those characters are strong against the recommended character type of, up there at the top. Not not Rosa, but that's okay. But as you can see, so I've got uh, I've got Flannery a little bit low. So I'm gonna go and level her up real quick. So go in here into my team, and these are the different things you can do. So unlock level cap. That was that's what I was talking about earlier to to go past that level cap. So I'm gonna hit level up and I am going to level her up. Where's Flannery? Right there. Right here with this. So we'll take her up to level 30. There we go. So you have these books that allow you to uh, to level up. You got all these different materials to just, uh, for you to improve your character. Um, also, one thing I need to do is I need to unlock, so moves and skills, this allows you to unlock additional abilities for your characters seeing how i just got skyla i want to unlock her third ability here this take flight i do have enough so these this is the material you'll need for it, training machines and i need five i've got 34 so i'm good so i'm going to go ahead and unlock that for her <laughs> i like this move already <laughs> i like this move already she says all right and that's it i'm ready to go into battle and see uh how well how well we do because we are moving up we are moving up in the in the storyline here I did do some farming early on to get my levels and everything up pretty decently so we'll see here we go the loading screens really aren't that bad either it is pretty quick All right, so here we go. So you got three trainers, three Pokemon each for each battle. I mean, for each side. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so hold on, I need to slow this down. Yeah, there is an, I had a, sorry, I had an auto battle and times three. So you could speed this up quite a bit, but uh, all right, so I need to pay attention to my characters here really quick. So we've got, um, I need the air to do gust again see as as i select my character down here at the bottom i can select my character up there at the top and do damage just like that now one thing i i mentioned there's a couple things that are pretty cool about this um there is no energy cost no energy cost going here so you can redo these levels as much as you want there's also um there's also no no set way for that you have to play this game meaning Right now, as you can see, I'm using the same Pokemon to take those two characters out off on the side. It doesn't cycle through by turn. It uh, it just allows me to take these characters and use them however I see fit. Let me use Will-O-Wisp right there. Boom. Um, you also have these abilities here. So this X, SP, and Attack. It's a buff. You can hold down. It says sharply raises the user's SP and uh, Attack, Special Attack. Now that allows you to do a countdown now this is her ultimate I think this is there's a lot of stuff going on here but this is her essentially ultimate attack um, it's called a sink a, a sink attack and that's what's flashing in the middle for me right here with her so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that your sync move so as you use abilities it you'll see a number on sync move so like for her it might have started out as four as you lose use those abilities it goes four three two one and zero and then allows you to use that sync ability, that sync move there. But, uh, so it is not, this is not a turn-based game. This is very much, this is real-time. This is a real-time action battle mode. And it's, it's cool because, I mean, you really have to pay attention, take a look at your weaknesses and things like that. Um, also, when do you use your potions? You have these passive abilities that don't use that move meter. So that move meter at the bottom of the at the bottom of the screen had the four blue bars. That's your move meter, and each ability uses a certain amount of that move meter, just like anything else, like action points, things like that. But you also have potions. So potions will give you health. 
but you only have a limited number of those. You have buffs, you have a limited number of those. But all of that, even though those those abilities, the potions, the buffs, things like that, don't take from your move bar, it does count as an action for your sync move, which is pretty cool. So, all right, so she lost, boom, we won that one. We got one more battle to do. Also, one thing I didn't mention is um, at the end of this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to pull some new trainers. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to pay attention to the phone here. So I got my fire over there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Use that. So there's the move bar down there at the bottom. Now, one thing cool about Rosa here is she's got this t this time to energize, which gives me move, which gives me move bar. So I like having her on the team. All right, so that one's out. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna try and get. I'm gonna see if I can do the ultimate. So right there in the center of Skyla's abilities here, it just went from seven to six. What does Potion do? Ah, she didn't last very long. Potion does what? Restores a bit of an ally's hit points. So you know we'll use that. I'm gonna use it on myself. If the other two go down, uh, I'm okay with that for right now. All right, what's this take flight? I haven't used this. Sharply raises the defense of all allies, so we'll do that. That's a cool little animation. So you got your... She, this character is pretty cool. This is the first time I've used her. As you saw, I just unlocked her. So let's go with that. Boom, take that character down. Let's see if we can get to the ultimate. I want to use this character's ultimate. So let's go ahead heal myself again. I go down to two. I'm just... No rhyme or reason to these other than tr just burning that that sync move meter down so I can show you. All right, so let's do that, Gus. Hopefully it doesn't take... Nope, doesn't. So here we go with our sync move. Haven't seen this one yet. That's pretty cool. Boom, take them out. What was that, Stuffle? And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if one of your uh, characters gets knocked out or not, you still get experience, that character still gets experience. And, there, and from what I can tell, there's no player, there's no player level, it's all trainer level. Taking a look at the story here. Spend the rest of my life posting about how well I can put up a tent <laughs> and complete. All right. There we go. Not too bad. Shows you the coins you've earned and the uh, completion rewards there. And there we go. And then it just continues and until you go to the end of this this chapter here. So that's the battle mechanics. Pretty straightforward. You do have to pay uh, pay a little bit of attention there as far as your attacks. If you want to maximize your your attacks there, use your potions at the right time. Because with those battles there, when you go from battle one to battle two, whatever happens to you in the first battle carries over to battle two. So whatever life you lost carries over, whatever abilities you use. So if you used a, a potion to heal somebody and you had two of two, you now have one of two for that second battle. So something to keep in mind as you're as you're working through these different battles. Also, there, as you saw in the very beginning, that first one, there is a times three and there is an auto battle as well. If you want a bit of a challenge, then put the speed up to a times three and you're gonna be moving pretty quick. So, all right, let's back out of this. Now, when I go into a character, like you saw before, like I said, this game's pretty straightforward, but there's, there's a lot of 
parts to it, to your character. So you have your level up, which levels up your character. You got your moves and skills, which you saw allows you to to learn new moves and abilities for your characters. The le the unlock level cap that allows you to go past that level cap. So you need material, you need specific material for that. And then your increased potential, that allows you to move, to increase your star level. Now I'm not at that point just yet, but allows you to go ahead and star up your characters as well. So multiple ways for you to better your, better your team. The shop is your typical stuff. You got your exchange items. With this game, it's pretty cool. You can, uh, you can exchange low level items for, for a higher level item of that, uh, of that type. So like if I wanted to go, these are all coins here, but like for this one right here, I can exchange, I can exchange these, these buff blends for these great buff blends, which the higher level your characters go, the the greater resources they're gonna need. I don't even know what to call these really. They're resources, but you know how you have like a common and a and a rare and things like that. They're the different rarity levels of the resources, you have that in this game as well. Um, so that's what the exchange is. Purchasing gems is is same with any other type of free to play micro transaction type game. You can purchase gems so you can go further in this. And then you have sync, sync pair scout. This is where you go. And uh, this is where these are your summons or your orb openings, things like that. This is where you go to get more sync pairs. All right. I got to get used to that term sync pairs. It says it right there. What's going on? I don't know. Let's just keep going. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, and do this. Let's see. Sync paired scout times 10, 3000. Let's see. Let's see, do you want to use 3,000 gems for 10 sync pairs? Yes, I do. Let's do it. Oh, what? Hold on. That error I've seen pop up a couple different times. That was interesting. All right. All right, slide that down. That's... Wow, that was hard and be as strong as a rock type Pokemon. That was weird. That my my phone freaked out. I don't know what that was all about. Alright, so we've got we've got Rourke. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Who else do we got? We got Blaine. Blaine, you'll meet him in the story. <laughs> Who else? Roxanne. Keep going. What else we got? Wolfric. The gym leader of Snowbell City. I am Bryson. Bryson, very cool. The ice, mask. the ice mask. So I don't know who's good and who's not yet. Hey Brawly. But I am uh I am doing some looking into that. Whoa, check that out! I got a five star! Now, I don't know how good Chris is and Toad and I, I think, I think this is a good one. I think, but that's cool. I got a five. Very nice. I'll have to check and see kind of where it falls. There is kind of a, well, there is a tier list that has been started. So it'd be interesting to see where, where Chris falls yeah, within that tier list. So very cool. That was nice. Oh, I got her again. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Sync move. Level two. Okay, that's interesting. So I got two. That's funny. I got two five stars. It was Chris. And so it looks like it, it's leveling my sync move uh, up to level two and you have a max of level five. I mean, that's pretty interesting. That's that. That's that ultimate I was talking about. So that's pretty cool. Who else we got? We got Candace. Hey, Tate. Whoa, there's my voice again. And there we go. Wow, that's pretty cool. I got a five star. I'm excited for that. All right. And there we go, everybody. That's what I had for you. Just uh, first impressions of this game. I'm having a lot of fun. The story is pretty interesting as well. It's not a super deep story. It's your typical story in the Pokemon world where you're trying to get into this Pokemon League and you're collecting badges and stuff like that. All right. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, 
make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.